Chapter 218, Vengeance Both Li Xiao and Mo Ya had expressions of contemplation on their faces. Sai Kan Yi really found the way out? The other families were also astonished by his words. It's not entirely impossible to elect you as the alliance leader, Li Xiao said, taking the initiative. As long as they can leave this place, it's the same as electing someone who is the alliance leader. After all, the living environment here is too harsh. After leaving this abyss prison realm, who would still continue to venerate Sai Kan Yi as the alliance leader? As though he had seen through Li Xiao and the rest's thoughts, Sai Kan Yi coldly smiled and said, As long as you guys eat this, then I will bring all of you out. Seeing the black bill in Sai Kan Yi's hand, Li Xiao and the rest's facial expressions changed. They naturally know what that black colored elixir is. You joke. Based on some groundless teleportation array, you want us to consume the abyss essence bill made by your silver winged family? Mo Ya sneered as he looked at Sai Kan Yi and said, You're too naive. Today, either you die or you consume this abyss essence pill. All of you have no other choice. Sai Kan Yi coldly snorted as a powerful aura burst forth from his body. The silver wings on his back burst open with a wingspan of 5 to 6 meters. The aura exploding from Sai Kan Yi caused the surrounding people to be pushed back. Mo Ya and Li Xiao took a glance at each other. Sai Kan Yi's strength was raised even faster than before. Although they have confronted each other at normal times, in this situation, they have no choice but to join hands. Sai Kan Yi let out a solemn bark as he pounced like a fierce tiger towards Mo Ya and Li Xiao. Both Mo Ya and Li Xiao leaped and the three legend rank experts battled. The other patriarchs from the various families couldn't help looking at each other. Did Sai Kan Yi eat the wrong medicine? He had suddenly became overbearing. If he really won then the rest of them won't be able to stop him. They can only quietly watch as the three legend rank experts battle. Even the shockwave unleashed from their fight was already enough for them to suffer. The fierce battle continued for several hours. Even with Li Xiao and Mo Ya joining hands, they were gradually realizing they were no match for Sai Kong Yi. The sudden rise in Sai Kong Yi's strength was too frightening. He was completely suppressing both Li Xiao and Mo Ya. The battle of the three legend rank experts had affected everyone's mental state. Boom, boom, boom. Li Xiao and Mo Ya's sword auras slashed towards Sai Kong Yi's body, but bounced off it due to his berserk-like energy. Li Xiao, Mo Ya, it's useless. Your sword auras won't be able to do any harm to me. I have already used the secret technique of the bloodline of my silver-winged family to awaken my true power. It's simply impossible for either of you to be my opponent. A deep and low roar came from Sai Kan Yi's throat as his figure turned into an after image. His palm instantly landed on Li Xiao and Mo Ya's bodies, making both of them fly away. Both of them spat out a mouthful of blood as they staggered to their feet. The palm strike that they suffered from shifted their internals, making both of their faces turn ghastly pale. They never imagined that Sai Kan Yi's strength would reach such a level. When they saw that Li Xiao and Mo Ya were sent flying, the other patriarchs from the various families couldn't help their faces from drastically changing. Li Xiao, Mo Ya, if you both still refuse to take the Abyss Essence pill, then don't blame me for being impolite. Sai Kan Yi was like a death god, taking slow powerful steps towards Li Xiao and Mo Ya. Both patriarchs struggled to keep their footing, and were spitting out blood. Their faces were like sheets of golden paper. That palm from the Sai Kan Yi caused them to suffer from great injuries. Suddenly, a voice was heard. Sai Kan Yi you, old rogue, you've killed my parents and today, I will claim your head. A figure flew over from far away. Hearing this voice that came from far away, Sai Kan Yi laughed. I, Sai Kan Yi, have killed countless people. There are too many who want to claim my life. I'll take a look and see who wants to claim my head today. Sai Kan Yi turned his head and when he saw Duan Jian, his pupils violently shrank. It's you. That's right, it's me, Duan Jian. I have waited for this day for too long. The muscles in Duan Jian's body violently bulged as he swung the black flame sword, slashing it downwards towards Sai Kong Yi. Puny thing, back then, I wasn't careful and allowed you to escape. Since you actually dared to come back, I will personally kill you this time. You're alone, 
yet you still wish to avenge for your parents? You're still too tender. Sai Kan Yi laughed. Originally if Duan Jian did not come back, he would have kept his life. Since he dared to come back, he's simply seeking death. Sai Kan Yi's wings flapped as he charged at Duan Jian. Boom. Two powerful energies collided and violently dispersed with both of them in the center. Their energies felt like they wanted to devour everything. A black and silver energy streaked in the sky like two long dragons with dazzling light unleashed from them. Seeing this scene, the various patriarchs' faces changed as they immediately backed off. Who is this young man? Why haven't I seen him before? I never thought that this young man would have the strength to be on par with Sai Kong Yi. This young man is called Duan Jian. Furthermore, with those dragon wings on his back, could he be one of the descendants of my black dragon family? The patriarch of the black dragon family, Duan Longfei, was watching the young man fighting Sai Kong Yi. The bloodline of black dragon family, if it's awakened, it's even stronger than the silver winged family's bloodline. However, Awakening the Black Dragon family's bloodline is simply too difficult. In tens of thousands of Black Dragon family's members, there might not even be one who's awakened. He vaguely recalled, could this Duan Jian be the son of Duan Yun from back then? About the incident back then, Duan Longfei was aware of it. Except that the power of the silver-winged family was too powerful and that the Black Dragon family can only pretend to know nothing about it. Later on. He heard that Duan Yun was killed. He never thought that the son of Duan Yun was able to grow so big and his strength reaching a frightening stage, a legend rank expert. If the Black Dragon family had such a legend rank expert, then their power within the 13 families would be totally different. While Duan Jian and Sai Kan Yi were battling, Nai Li, Yu Yen, Luo Ming and the other two legend rank experts were outside, observing the battle. When Luo Ming and the other two legend rank experts followed Nai Li to this abyss prison realm, they were utterly shocked in their hearts. They never thought that there would be such a huge world here. Although the resources is a little lagging compared to Glory City, it's still so much better than the Nether Realm. Yu Yen looked at Nai Li and asked, Nai Li, doesn't your friend need help? Nai Li shook his head and said, Duan Jian's enmity can only be settled by himself. Nai Li, you have to be careful. There's a very powerful aura among these people. Even if it's the current me, I might not be his opponent. Yu Yen said with her brows knitted together for a moment. Nai Li's sharp perception had also sensed a powerful aura. This aura is very familiar. It's the old man that he met twice before. He slightly frowned. Just who is that old man and what does he want? However, since he promised to accompany Duan Jian here, he will definitely wait till he had taken his vengeance before leaving. At this moment, Duan Jian and Sai Kan Yi's fight had become very intense with berserk power constantly exploding. Both sides have already exhibited their power to the maximum. Duan Jian's eyes had turned red. With his dragon bloodline's physique, he wasn't even a little afraid of Sai Kan Yi's attacks and every time he launched his attacks, he targeted Sai Kan Yi's vitals. It's as though he's prepared to perish together with him. Although Sai Kan Yi's cultivation is stronger than Duan Jian's, his attacks weren't able to cause any huge injuries when they landed on his body. Furthermore, Duan Jian is fighting as though he's forsaking his life, making him unable to be careless. The more they fought, the more shocked Sai Kan Yi was. He never imagined that Duan Jian's cultivation would actually increase by so much. How long has it been since he escaped? Duan Jian actually had his strength increased from gold rank to this current level. This child mustn't be left alive. If I don't kill him now and allow him to grow even more, the next time we meet, I will probably not be his opponent anymore. Sai Kan Yi thought inwardly in his heart. If it's really impossible, then he can only use that technique. Duan Jian is filled with hatred for Sai Kong Yi. Both of his eyes were red like a beast's. The current him had recalled his childhood, when he was carefree without worries and living under his parents' care. Until that day, when these people snatched it all away from him. From that day onwards, he had been living his life for vengeance. Countless lashes and endless days and nights of torture caused his nature to become like steel.
the current him was already using the energy within himself to the maximum amount with his soul realm surging with the powers of law. Because Nai Li was observing him on the side, he is able to utilize double the amount of the powers of law, bursting out all the potential in his body. The black flame sword within his hands had already turned into a giant flaming pillar. Boom, boom, boom. The flaming pillar constantly slashed towards Saikon Yi, as though it's trying to split the sky. He was like an insane fighting demon. Cracks were starting to appearing in Duan Jian's soul realm. However, he couldn't feel it and continued to frantically launch his attacks. Seeing Duan Jian being on the suppressing side against Saikon Yi, the surrounding people had their eyes wide open. Saikon Yi is a legend rank expert, probably reaching the pinnacle of legend rank and yet, he's being forced to fall back little by little by this young man. Just where did this young man come from? Sai Kong Hong Ai tightly clenched her fists as her heart became filled with regret. She should have killed Duan Jian long ago. She never imagined that he would be able to grow to such a frightening degree in such a short amount of time. Nai Li, however, was quietly watching with his brows slightly knitted. Duan Jian seems to be too intense not taking his soul realm into consideration and has already executed his strength to the maximum. However, in order to become an expert, Duan Jian has to remove the demon in his heart. Otherwise, his cultivation will become stagnant in the future and he won't be able to step into the heavenly fate realm. In an Li's heart, Duan Jian has already become his important right-hand man and is prepared to nurture Duan Jian into an exceptional expert.